Hey guys, it's Erica here from Big Cat Creative and today I'm going to show you how to remove the header and the footer from your Squarespace site. This method works for all versions of Squarespace, but the code you use is slightly different depending on the version of Squarespace and also the template version. So make sure to check out our full blog posts on this one. We will link that down below and we've listed out all of the different codes for you to copy and paste. This one's pretty quick, so let's jump right into it. Okay, so I'm in my Squarespace 7.1 test site and I'm going to click on design and custom CSS. So this is where we're going to enter a little bit of custom code to hide the header navigation and everything in that header area and the footer as well. So in Squarespace 7.1, this is really, really easy. So you can either just follow along with what I'm typing or you can go to the full post on this topic and copy the code. So you just copy and paste it straight into your site. To hide the header, I'm gonna type in a period. I'm gonna type the word header. Then I'm gonna do an open curly bracket. And when you do the open curly bracket, Squarespace automatically adds a closing bracket. So just make sure your cursor is in between those two brackets. And we're gonna type in the word display colon and the word none. And instantly, once you complete that piece of code, you're gonna see your header disappear on your page. It's as simple as that. So this piece of code removes the header on desktop and also on mobile. So right now that's set to remove the header on all headers around your entire site. So I will show you soon how to select a specific page that you want to do that to. But first, I'll quickly show you how to do the footer. It's very similar. So I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of my page. Back in my custom CSS editor, I'm going to hit the enter or return key to go down to the next line. And then I'm going to type in footer. This one doesn't actually need that full stop at the beginning of it or the period. It just needs the word footer. Then again, I'm going to do an open curly bracket and the same as above, display none. And this is going to hide the footer. So two simple codes to hide your header and footer, but you probably do want to know how to actually hide your header and footer on specific pages. It's pretty unlikely that you are trying to hide the header and footer on your entire site, unless it's a very special use case. But let me show you the easiest way to select the page. So essentially what we want to do is we want to target a specific page around our site instead of targeting every single page, which is what we're doing now. And to target a specific page, we need that page ID. So every single page on your website has a unique identification number. Now you can get that identification number by sifting through the code on the back end of your website, or you can make it really, really easy for yourself and download this Chrome plugin called Squarespace ID Finder. This one is great. It gives you all sorts of IDs that you need around your site. For this tutorial, we just need the page ID but if you did need to get section IDs or block IDs, this works as well. You do need to use Chrome, so the Chrome browser to use a Chrome extension, but I would recommend using Chrome when editing in Squarespace anyway, because that is actually what Squarespace recommends. That is where their editor is most stable. So realistically, you should be using Chrome anyway. So hopefully you are, and we will link this extension below the video in the blog post. Uh, if you don't want to find the link, just Google Squarespace ID finder it looks like this and then you just need to click install over here in the top right and it should pretty instantly come up here into your chrome toolbar so once that's installed head back over to your squarespace site and then you want to find the page where you want to remove the header and footer so i'm going to just use this page but make sure you're actually on the page or viewing the page where you want to hide the header or the footer or both so let's say i want to hide the header and footer from this page i'm going to go ahead and click on this extension and you're going to see all these little things pop up and what you're looking for is the collection ID. So you'll see section IDs and block IDs all over your page but at the very top left you should see this yellow one which says collection. So if you click on that it will copy it to the clipboard and then you can go back into your custom CSS panel and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go above the codes we added and I'm going to click paste. So you're going to see that collection ID is now pasted above your two codes codes. And if you want to turn these IDs back off, just go ahead and click on that extension again, and that will hide all of those numbers. Okay, so now we have three lines. We have our ID, our header display none, and our footer display none. I'm going to say in this instance, I only want to hide the header on this particular page. So what I would do is I would get rid of this footer code. And now we have the two pieces we need, the ID and the header display none. And what you want to do is you want to wrap 
the second part of the code in curly brackets. So I'm going to type in an opening curly bracket and just like before Squarespace has automatically given me a closing curly bracket, but I'm actually going to remove this closing bracket and put it below. So now this header display none is actually within these two brackets that are highlighted in green right now. So it's basically saying that for this page or this collection ID, do whatever is within these brackets. And of course it's to hide the header. So if I scroll down to the bottom now the footer is showing again and if I go over to another page you'll see that the navigation is still along the top on this page so it's only hiding it from the home page which is what we want so you can essentially use that method to target any page around your site and hide your headers and footers. So just to recap, if we also did want to hide the footer on this page as well, all we would do is just like we did before, click enter, type in footer, open curly bracket and closing curly bracket and inside we want to type in display none. So now within the curly brackets of this particular page ID, we're hiding the header and the footer. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed that video and learned something new. If you like this one, make sure to check out this tutorial and subscribe because we put out new videos every week. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.